right, so in this lesson, we're going to be doing kind of the opposite of what we were doing last time. So now we're going to be looking at some points and identifying what their coordinates are. So we want to make sure we know the x and y values just by looking at um, a point. So essentially, you're giving directions to where it is. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I've done last time and kind of set up my graph so that I make sure I know where everything is. Alrighty. So let's look at point A. So point A is over here. Use a different color. Point A is right there. So I'm going to start with the X. So I'm going to go over until I am even with that A. So one, two, three, four, five, two, four. Oops, lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm at ten right here. So negative ten. And then I went up one, two. So this point is negative ten, positive two, because I went up. So let's look at B. So B is right here. So I'm going to start the zero, zero in the middle, go over. 1, 2, so positive 2, and then go up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this one, point B, is over 2, up 5. So 2, 5. C, so C is right here. So I'm going to start at 0, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Eight. So this is negative 8 right there. And then down 1, 2, 3. So it's negative 8, negative 3. Because I'm going left and down. Negative 8, negative 3. And if you think about it, you know, going down, you'd be going into the negatives. If you had money and you were going down, we are losing money. We are coming into the negatives. Um, and that's just an easy way to remember which direction on the, the y-axis. The x-axis, just remember, it's just like a number line. The negatives are going to be on the left side of a number line while the positive is on the right. So it's just a little way to help you remember which way is the positive and which way is the negative numbers. So let's look at D. So starting at 0, 0, 1, 2, so positive 2 right there, and then down. 1, 2, 3, 4. So positive 2 and then down 4. So E. So right here. Starting at 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is negative 7. And then up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have negative 7, positive 8, because we are going up. F is over here. So I'm going to start at 0, 0, and go over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is positive 8. And then down 1, 2. So positive 8. And then down, so negative 2. All right, G, last one. G is right here. So starting at 0, 0, 1, 2. And then I'm not going up or down, so that's zero for the y value. If you do not move from that axis, that is a zero for that value. So we have negative two comma zero because we did not go up or down. So basically these coordinates are telling you, I want you to go left this number. I want you to go right this number or up or down. And that's what these coordinates right here represent. They represent a direction. All right, so I want you to keep that in mind when you go ahead and do these practice problems. All right, so let's go ahead and start by preparing our graph that we have here. So we have the y axis and the x axis. And again, I'm just doing this so it's easier for us to orient ourselves and to make sure that we can graph this correctly. Positive 
the negative. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start with point A. So point A is right here. So we started at zero, zero, and we did not go left or right. So our x value is going to be zero for that one. And then we need, we are going down, so that's negative. One, two, three, four, five, negative five. So then let's look at B. So B is right here. And we're going to go over one, two, three, four, five. So negative, because we're on the negative side, five. And then up one, oh, sorry, negative four. And then up one, two, three. So negative four, three. And the reason I mark it down like that is so that I can see if I made a mistake. And in this case, I did. I started at negative five, and then once I started going up, I'm like, oh, that's not right. So negative four right there. So again, keeping yourself organized is very helpful to make sure you don't make mistakes. So C. We're going to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. Negative eight. Eight and then down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's negative ten right there. So negative eight, negative ten are the coordinates for point C. So let's look at point D. We're gonna go over starting at zero, zero. One, two, three, four. So this is positive four right there, and then up one, two. Three, four. So this one, D, the coordinates are four, four. So we have, oops, we have a positive four. That means we're going right four. And then another pos a positive four for the Y axis, meaning we're going up four. So let's look at E. E is right here in the middle. So what point is that right in the middle? We are not going up or down, left or right. So that means that our coordinates are zero, zero for that value. Last one, we're looking at F, which is over here. We're going to start at zero, zero and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to keep going. Now we're going to go down. One, two, three, four, five. So this one is ten, negative, all right, so that's the end of dealing with graphing points and identifying points. Um, we're going to go on to doing some distance and slope formula after this.